So one preference you should really be aware of is the limit recording time to preference. So to get to that preference, we'll come up here to setup and then preferences. Give us our Pro Tools preferences menu. We'll come here to the operation tab and then we'll look over here at the open ended record allocation. Now by default, this will be set to use all available space. Use all available space is fine if you're recording say long concerts or if maybe you just set up a bunch of mics hit the record button and then you and your band or your friends just sit around and start jamming for long periods of time say an hour hour and a half or whatever but if you're like a lot of people using Pro Tools and you're recording songs then it's much better to use limit two and set this to a multiple of say your average song time so songs usually average from two and a half minutes to about five minutes. So a good choice that a lot of people will choose will be 10 minutes, that's great. I usually choose 11 minutes, but 10 minutes will be fine. Something like eight minutes would more than likely be enough as well. And choosing the limit to and using something like eight to 10 to 15 minutes will really help keep your Pro Tools system optimized and help keep things quick and speedy without getting a bunch of disc errors saying your disc is too slow or fragmented. It really helps when it comes to playing back the session, and especially once you get down to editing the session helps keep the files much closer together so it's much easier for the hard drive to play them back. So we've made our selection. In this case we've chose 11 minutes so we choose OK and that's all there is to it. You go on and you get back to recording. Now one thing it's important to note is that when we chose 11 minutes that's not the total playback time or the total length of the session. 11 minutes means that in one take the recording allocation will be limited to 11 minutes. So just one take not the entire length of the session now I'll demonstrate this real quick here go to preferences and now we'll limit this to one minute I'll record enable this track then we'll record for one minute and we'll see what happens at the end of one minute I'll of course speed up the video so you don't have to sit here for one minute in complete silence so we we'll click record it's counting off and there it goes starting to record so we'll speed this up and we'll drop back in around 50 around 50 seconds or so All right, so here we are at 50 seconds, 51, 52. So let's see what happens when it hits the one minute mark. Oh, there we go. Recording has been terminated either because of full disc, blah, blah, blah. So you may think, what if I end up limiting my recording time to 10 minutes, but I want a 15 minute song? Well, unless you're going to be playing for a full 15 minutes straight through, then you won't have a problem. And I'll show this here. Here we are at one minute. So I can go back here and drop right back into record and it'll start recording again from the one minute mark and we'll record for another full minute before it stops. So that's how that would work. So even though we set our recording allocation limit to one minute, that's just per take, not per session or per track. It's just per take. So if your takes are only 30 seconds at a time, setting something at one minute really wouldn't be a problem because you could do a 30 second take, do another 30 second take, do another 30 second tape, do that on and on times 10 and there would be no problem. So just keep that in mind that by limiting the recording allocation to probably around 10 minutes is where most people do it. You won't have any problem recording your three, four, five minute song. And then if for some reason you say you want to repeat the entire five minutes of that song, just highlight all your tracks, click Control D, you'll duplicate it. Then you can hit Control D again, duplicate it again. That'll make it 15 minutes long and you can play back that full 15 minutes even though your recording allocation is set to 10 minutes. So it's very important to understand the differences between recording allocation time and then session time. So why would you want to limit your record time? Well let me show you here visually. First I came into the Pro Tools preferences and checked use all available space. Clicked OK. Then I record enabled these three tracks 4, 5, and 9. And I recorded a little section. And you can see here visually where Pro Tools dropped those files. Track 4 here first started recording right here in this block. Track 5 started recording further down here. Then track 9, which is a stereo track, started recording the left channel down here in this block. And the right channel of track 9 started recording down here in this block. So you can see visually how Pro Tools peppered these files across the drive, leaving quite a bit of space in between each track where the files started being written. Now this is great if you're recording really, really long sessions because it allows each track to be recorded for a very long time without having to be split up which means that track 4 could be recorded in all of these blocks contiguously for a very long time track 5 can be 
recorded in all these blocks that are right, that are right next to each other. Same for track 9, etc. If you're recording a very long session and say Pro Tools has started recording track 4 in this block, track 5 in this block, track uh, 9 left and then 9 right and these two blocks, well, then you'd end up having a very fragmented file for each track. In other words, you may have five or six minutes of track four recorded in this block, and then the hard drive may have to jump all the way to this block to get the next two or three minutes, then to another block to get 30 seconds, and then to another block to get 30, 40 seconds. And imagine if you had 15, 30, 40 tracks. And so while this might be great if you're recording very, very, very long sessions, it's not ideal if you're recording a two and a half, a three minute, a four minute, a five minute song especially once you start editing, because then the hard drive will really have to be jetting around from section to section to section to read each little bit that you've cut up, separated, etc., in order to play that back so you can hear it. So for the next extreme, I'll come here to Preferences, and we'll go to Limit to 1 Minute, and I recorded these three tracks again, and this time with the limit set to 1 Minute, all of our tracks 4, 5, and 9, left and right, because it's a stereo track, are all recorded within this one block, as you can see here here, here, and here. It's much better to keep Pro Tools running as quick as possible on your system because after a while if the hard drive is having to fly back and forth between all of these sections to grab the files and play them back at the same time you're going to start getting disk errors. Some errors that come up that say like disks too slow, you may need to defragment your disk, etc. So that's why you would want to choose a limit of somewhere between say 8 and 15 minutes. So it's definitely an optimization I'd recommend. Setup, Preferences, Operation tab, Limit 2, then 10, 11, 15 minutes, whatever you're comfortable with, something in that area. Click OK and you'll have better performance in Pro Tools.